Hello people and welcome back to News Review. If you've seen the title, or the thumbnail, or anything, you know that it's finally here. The power release Sengoku Samurai, and most importantly, my favorite character in TOS, Hideyoshi. I never thought the day would come, but this is like probably like the most invested I'll be in a character like ever, maybe. Maybe until like they re power release like Azathoth or something, but Hideyoshi was my first leader, so I mean you you know, you you've seen you've seen my profile picture. And I'll like probably be rambling a lot in this just because like you know, I like this character a lot. And them power releasing this like genuinely makes me very happy. So yeah. So, before we get into it, first off, there's a new trait, Sengoku, uh, which includes all eight members in the uh, Sengoku Samurai series, plus a few others. Uh, they're power releasing the first four right now, the other four will be in uh, the later part of the month. Uh, the characters that, are, that do have the Sengoku trait that are not in the Sengoku Samurai series include uh, a couple of, like the ultimate cards and arena cards. So Yukimura is a uh, stat clear fire human. Kenshin the beast sense is uh, a water human, one of the few, I think, one of the one of the shortest uh, time tunnels with CD4. Uh, a catchy bloodthirsty blade. Not really that good, but uh, he works well with Hideyoshi's team skill, which I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, Masamumi the Homicidal Maniac, which I can't see working well with anyone since nobody's dragon in the Sengoku Samurai series. Uh, Shingen the Dominating Orc, same with this guy, nobody's really beast in uh, the series. And that's a card for later, that's not a Sengoku card. So, when the leader and ally are the same Sengoku members, they uh, acquire a exclusive team skill which is basically the dragonware power you consume the full dragonware 100 percent and then everyone enters a hyper state for 10 rounds for 10 rounds damage received minus 50 percent so half damage and everything has the effect of everything fully this is like pretty cracked because this allows uh you know well, first off, this synergizes with Hideyoshi because he can now bring in Sengoku members, which means that like even if you don't bring in Earth humans, they can have the effect of Earth runestones, which is pretty powerful. And I think like so this you may be wondering like you know if you don't know uh, or even if you do know probably that Hideyoshi was not a top tier leader. He was never a top tier leader. But, you know, he was the leader that I first used to clear, like, the majority of stages, the first team. You know, that, that's why I like Earth Human so much. Because when I started the game, I pulled on Sengoku Samurai. I got, like, five of Hideyoshi now. Like, you know, it's insane. But Hideyoshi was never a meta, like, top tier leader. And you might think that I'm huffing copium by putting up at uh, 175 diamonds over here. But I'm gonna explain. So, first up, as I've said, the biggest problem with Hiyoshi was actually like team flexibility. Within the Earth human pool at the time, there were very, very few cards that, you know, could actually work. And then he also limited himself in terms of, you know, essentially destroying your board. And one of the biggest problems was that he had like a lack of combos, which he does address. So first off, this gives him like a quite a bit of HP. This is HP times four on both sides. And then to get the maximum attack from his leader skill, you need to dissolve 12 or more Earth Stones. Once again, this is not first batch. This is very important. You can sky drop the Earth Stones and it will still be fine. This is going to be very important later for explaining why I think, you know, he, like, has a chance to be viable, somewhat. <laughs> first team skill, uh, 
he reduces the CDs of himself and Akechi. Akechi becomes CD4 from CD6, and he becomes CD1 from CD3. So here's CD3. So that means he can activate his active every single round. Uh, important point here is not that he can release lock skills, although that's, you know, additional utility. The important point here is that he can tap a runestone as the center of a 3x3 to explode it and generate enchanted earth runestones. So this is basically like one of the directions I thought Matt had could take when they could then when they would power release Hideyoshi. I'm very glad they did it. Because now it's like no longer limited by conversion. You can, you know, explode a 3x3. So you will get like mm, you'll get well, this is three times three is nine. And then, you know, obviously on both sides, you get 18 guaranteed Earth Rune Stones. And if you dissolve that, it's a guaranteed activation on his leader skill. Uh, Catching the Bloodthirsty Blades, HP attack and recovery basic value times 2.5 as well. So if you need some extra HP to uh, beef up the team HP, you put a Catchy in. Although, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, with all the, well, with the team setup that, like, I'm envisioning you won't need him because his active skill sucks all right like he might have the stats and sometimes stats are important granted but he does not have the, you know active if you want to take a look at his active again he is a converter and an attack booster to so the max time is 1.8 it's not even two this is like laughable in today's day and age and i'm surprised that like if they wanted to you know put a catchy in the team why didn't they give him like a skill buff man like this is just you know, but you can't, I can't ask for everything. Hideyoshi is more powerful and it's already quite good, quite enough. Earth has the effect of heart, eliminating the, the recovery problem. The more active skills activate in the same round, the higher the team attack increases, the max times three for activating four times. This you can think of as a bonus. Uh, obviously you'll be like activating active skills at least twice every single round. And then if you activate some more, then you know, you get the higher attack boost. The more the Earth Rune Stones dissolved in the group in the first batch, this is dependent on the first batch though, uh, the more the combo count increases to the max uh, plus 15 for a group of 15 Earth Rune Stones dissolved. Once again, if you do uh, leader and ally, 18 Earth Rune Stones, this is automatic. However, you know, it can get tricky if you can't dissolve Earth Rune Stones in the first batch. That means you won't get these combos and you'll have to get them some other way, you know, through your members basically. And by dissolving a group of uh, 9 or more runestones in the shape of a square, not first batch, recover half your HP until team HP is full. You ignore duet, trio, quartet, and quintet elemental field. So this is, you know, this solves, like, once again, two of the other problems. Hideyoshi had a lot of problems before. I'm, like, you know, I'm not gonna sidestep that. This gets rid of the, this is basically recovery without recovering. And then, you know, gets rid of the, how do you break the quintet elemental shield if you, all you dissolve is, like, earth? And then, I've already talked about his active skill. So, why I think Hideyoshi has the potential to be actually a top tier leader. So, for this, I need to get into, like, the earth human cards and how the earth human pool has expanded, like, ever since, you know, Hideyoshi's release. So his first release, right, there were maybe like, you know, a couple, there were really like, there was really one fixed set of Earth Humans that you could bring in, that you would bring in. One was like the Earth Human from King of Fighters, the King of Fighters collab that could increase your combos. The other was like Lu Xun who could reduce your damage by like 75%. And then like beyond that you could, you would need to bring like a third Hideyoshi, or at least I would because, you know, that's how you get the maximum earth rune stones so my point is is that the earth human pool is very very limited but now like in addition okay so he can he can now actually in addition to the expanded earth human pool he can also bring in uh sengoku members and there haven't like out of the ones that we know right now there are maybe two that stick out right Obviously, like, these last two, uh, you know, small prizes, they're not going to do much because they don't, like, they don't, they're not good cards, and they also don't synergize. That makes it just bad, right? 
in terms of the cards that I said before, uh, Akechi, I mean, it provides stats. Kenshin the Beast Hands, like, may be good, but there are other, like, Earth Human uh, time tunnels. And Yukimura actually is, is gonna probably, like, provide a useful utility because he is a stat clear and earth humans have no stat clears so he will be you know a valuable member as seen like basically in the same situation as like Shu Zhang in uh, Ying Zheng where there are no demon stat clears and providing that utility to Ying Zheng's team makes him clear things that he did not have the ability to clear before so that's a valuable one uh, Honda has basically an upgraded active skill of his previous self, which is true damage reduction, which is when the enemy hits you, you just don't take any damage no matter what. So that's very valuable as well, and now you can have him as a member in Hideyoshi's team. So in the Earth Human Pool, what has happened since, I guess, like, from, I guess, when Hideyoshi dropped off, right, to now his power release? Well going through in like numerical order like card number wise you got doko from the first saint Seiya collab still one of the most powerful cards for like i mean in general right this guy has like 50 extra attacks in one card that's insane that's one utility that earth humans have uh next up you have lucin which is who, who actually jumped the gun and got his power release because he has Imperial Warlords 2 and got it right after Imperial Warlords 1. Now, instead of 75%, you get a 100% damage reduction for 16 Earth Runestones dissolved in the first batch. This basically means that you get a 100% damage reduction in Hideyoshi's team if you bring him and you activate him. Like, 100% damage reduction, now that damage reduction is kind of coming back into fashion, is really good. Like, this will be, like, probably a frequent member. Next up, Doya, a guild, uh, like, a guild event card, solves Quintet attack shields. And then you have Mei Chang from, uh, Fullmetal Alchemist collab, Anti-Lock, also Earth Human, and then direct damage as well. Uh, Diane, one example of the cards that can restore Petrified Runestones is probably the best one. Petrified Runestones plus Time Tunnel. Another utility. Duncan, the upgraded Duncan, you get plus three rows, which can be seen nowadays is like, you know, a very niche but sometimes very useful kind of skill. 20 seconds of Runestone one time, so have the old 10. And then additional attack boost on top of that. Uh, Kamen Rider Zero One who can ignore puzzle shield and also ignore specific damage using resistance. Uh, paired with Kamen Rider 02, that is the co combined skill, but Kamen Rider 02 on, on his own can electrify enemies, which uh, is something that you probably need to do nowadays. Uh, Mesopotamia? Well, probably the strongest uh, earth human attack booster right now. Obviously, some of the skills like Clash with Hideyoshi, with the, you know, Trio and Quinta Elemental Shield ignoring, but also her on her own can also solve uh, Quintet Attack Shields. Plus, she offers a uh, fixed combo shield ignoring capabilities, and she gives herself like an insane amount of attack uh, once you meet eight combos, meaning eight combos won't be a problem with Hideyoshi because he gives himself 15 combos under normal circumstances. Uh, Gareth, with from uh, Nice of the Round Table, can freeze enemies. Mumu, from Bi Weekly, can ignore burning and sticky in the case that Hideyoshi actually needs to spin, God forbid. They didn't even give him any runestone spinning time because they know with Hideyoshi, like in this iteration, you're not spinning. Nobody's nobody's spinning, man. Uh, then possibly like the one card that I think like will make Hideyoshi work even in like the worst circumstances. So previously there was there was this card from uh, Richmond. I, I, I don't even remember the English name for this card, but what he did is that he made 
then he made you sky drop like a board of earth basically and people fill in Hideyoshi because oh you know that would mean that you don't have to uh, dissolve earth in the first batch because sometimes you can't and I don't have that card because I you know I joined a bit too late in the Richmond I like I got the tail end of it and obviously that was a jackpot as well right but now Shuryu from the second Saint Seiya collab can do that but like better there is so much like shield solving ability just in Shuryu's one card first off if you don't equip his dragon wear he can solve cracked uh positions and restore the board although the card does kill itself after that by transforming he can ignore step damage after transforming he gets basically the powered up version of what i just described you can sky drop 100 earth rune stones that is like three full boards and a bit that solves like every single problem that uh, hideyoshi has with not dissolving earth rune stones in the first batch and then you know most recently you have deku 100 combos like nobody's ever heard of you know just setting yourself to 100 combos but i guarantee you i mean if because i mean if you can't dissolve earth and stones in the first batch you don't get the combos where do you got get the combos from this guy like 20 combos or 100 combos i am sure i'll end up like using deku and then uh this actually like came somewhere before that but the numbers after because there's a transmigration card oh yeah uh a time tunnel you choose your you choose the attribute that this card attacks with and then it also ignores defense initial shield and puzzle shield which is same as a uh, comrade zero two but you can choose the attribute that this card attacks with like the over like the amount of time from hideyoshi's first release or rather from when he first dropped off until now i don't know if this is like bias or copium but genuinely i feel like the earth human box has grown a lot and i th i think that gives hideyoshi a genuine like fighting chance as like a legit leader and not just some sort of like speed leader hopefully i'm right if i'm i mean i will be trying to clear like everything with this guy just like the old days right so yeah that is it about hideyoshi i really look forward to seeing i guess the other four cards and seeing if they can contribute anything to hideyoshi not sure that they will i mean my hope is on like nobunaga basically to see how they like mess with his active skill i know many people are excited for his return as a leader in his own right as well since many people did also start with uh this series as i did Unfortunately, I did not get Nobunaga when I started, uh, but, well, I mean, I don't know if I would call it, uh, unfortunately, right? This is, I, I mean, Hideyoshi is my favorite card in TOS, so it is, that, that's just what happened. This is TOS lore, or rather my lore in TOS, right? Okay, that is uh, enough about Hideyoshi for now. Moving on to Honda. As a leader, they've also buffed him to have more flexibility in the team comp. You can now uh, have humans or two attributes. So uh, it's like you can build a full human team with an emphasis on uh, light and water. Or you can build a light and water team with non-humans in it and it will still work basically. Uh, he does encourage Sengoku members which is like a bit weird. I mean, there aren't like apart from the card shown here well no apart from the card shown here there was one th there is one water and one light card they were pretty bad though so they'll have to do something to those cards active skills to like bring them back into viability of any kind of viability right uh but anyway he works by dissolving all light in the first batch and all water in the first batch for his team skill, uh, light and water have 200% effect of each other and half the effect of heart. Heart has the effect of everything. Sengoku member's skill CD is minus 8 after entering a stage. Alt the attribute of Komatsu Hime into light. Uh, Komatsu Hime is this uh, dark elf card, so I guess she's also like a viable member for Honda. 
Although the active skill is like, I don't know if that synergizes that well. I mean, I guess it, it does. You know, heart has the effect of everything. Uh, when four more combos are made, damage received minus 40%. By triggering his character runestone, you ignore Sticky, Tornado, and Electrify. That's pretty good. After two or less light runestones, or two or less water runestones at the, at the end of the last runestone movement, light and water can be dissolved by aligning two or more of them in the first batch in the next round, basically. Um, I'm not sure how often this is gonna, like, this is basically random, right? Skydrop can make it so that this either does or does not happen, you know, even if you try your best to make this happen. Um, one special thing is that the ally can be any water or light human, just like the old days, I think. Uh, so, this is pretty cool. And when there is Honda and Komatsuhime in the team, their stats times 1.6, and the each time Honda attack, uh, attacks activates is active. Komatsuhime skill CD minus one, and the, every time Komatsuhime activates her active skill, Honda skill CD minus one. Of course, she also has the unrivaled samurai ability. Moving on to his active, I talked a little bit before about that CD seven. Uh, damage received from burning will be converted to HP recovery. That's pretty good. And then damage received will be converted to HP recovery, that's what I was talking about before in terms of true damage reduction where the enemy hits you, you do not take any sort of damage. Members in a hyper state attack times 2. Uh, this is, I guess, synergizing with like the uh, Unrivaled Samurai where it gives everyone a hyper state for 10 rounds. So, you know, this multiplies that up. And then if no enemy launches an attack upon the round of skill activation, the character skill CD minus 2. I never really understood this point, because if you activate this card, chances are you're activating it to absorb the damage that an enemy would do to you, with like, would one-shot you, you know, pretty much, in the old days and even now. And, like, that's what this guy is for, it's for protecting against a one-shot. So I'm not sure why you would activate him when the enemy isn't launching an attack. Moving on to the small prizes, Komatsu Hime Dark Elf CD 6 for a group of 4 more runestones dissolved in the first batch. 5 Enchanted Heart Elf runestones will be generated to the max of 30 runestones for 6 groups dissolved. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a 30 heart shield, but if one ever appears, this will be the card to do it. Uh, Oichi Water Human. Uh, this card used to be pretty bad, now it's like, okay. Like, she works uh, on accumulating rounds and recovering HP to the max uh, 90k now for, uh, this is, how many rounds is this? Six rounds. The max of six rounds. Combo count plus six as well at max. Um, I guess that's, that's fine, that's not really good. Uh, I mean, actors that recover HP were not really ever good unless they uh, recovered your HP to full. I guess like with 90k you could technically be like that's enough HP right? But I, I, I don't know. This card didn't receive a lot of use uh, previously. Maybe one day it'll like have some insane use when I try and beat some insane stage with Hideyoshi. Who knows. But I rank both these at 5 diamonds. Standard utility, nothing special. Honda receives the 50 diamonds just because of like his insane active, even though his uh, leader skill isn't that good. It's okay, but you know, true damage reduction again is something special. Next up, uh, oh, you get a challenge mission for uh, a random Sengoku Samurai card that's dual max, that's pretty good. Also, free diamond, and then. Next up is an ultimate card, uh, Philip, a earth dragon, everyone thought it was, you know, earth human, I mean, just look at him, right? I mean, I guess, like, he does have, like, dragon horns, but, uh, you know, people just saw his, like, portrait, which is what's, like, on the tier list here, and you can't see his dragon horns, so everyone's just like, oh, who's this mystery earth human? I would have loved it to be earth human and, you know, been good and incorporated into uh, Hideyoshi, but no. Unfortunately not. He is a earth dragon. Uh, turn the board into this kind of configuration over here. 
And then for one round each, human, dragon, and god launch an extra earth attack and electric fire attack as much as half its attack. And at the end of the round, for every five star or less member, so five stars, for every member of five stars or less, I don't know why they wrote it in this order, come on man. For every member that's five stars or less in the team, character skills ZD minus one to the max minus five. I don't know why they wrote this in. This isn't like the age of Enkidu or something. Like, I don't know why you would have base, because any members below five stars are garbage. I don't know why you would have like five, five star members in the team. Like nobody does that. This card will probably end up being dead, but in the case that it doesn't, get one. Oh, I mean, always get one of every TOS card, right? And then there's actually a new chapter in the Era of Magic, which will be uh, free diamonds galore, I guess. More more stuff to mine in the diamond mine. Uh, and also, this like yeah, it's been like maybe a year since they released a new story in the Void of the Realm, so this will be pretty exciting. And then moving on to the celebration events. The one thing that is special is, uh, well there's actually nothing special, there's Burnt Nerves, which is uh, a returning ultimate stage of Sophia. Sophia kind of sucks, Light Machina and modify Light Runestones to become Machina Runestones, and if there are Electrified Runestones, she boosts her attack, I don't know when. Like, I don't know why you would bring that card into any team ever. Because it depends on electrified runestones to boost her attack. And not even buy, like, anything special. Uh, the Sengoku Samurai event characters will return. Uh, Kenshin, Akechi, and Masamume. Diamonds will be given. Very cool. As I said, uh, Kenshin is, like, prob... I mean, Kenshin and... Akechi are probably the ones that like may be used, Masumi will not be used in a Hideyoshi at all, and I doubt in anyone else either, because they have zero synergy with dragons. Uh, returning challenge mission. Ah, Typhon. Actually, this is a decent card. Earth Elf, uh, ignore Puzzle Shield. There are a few cards in Elves that can ignore Puzzle Shields, but get one. This is a good card. I, might, I must have skipped over it when I first read this. Uh, next up. No, that's actually it. That That's just it. Uh, power release will start in one or two days, depending on where you are and when I end up releasing this video at noon, 13 June at noon. I'll be very excited. All right. Uh, thank you for listening to you know my Hideyoshi ramble. If you like this, please leave a like. If you have any comments, questions uh, about why I like Hideyoshi so much, leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this in general, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video. See ya!